Heading overseas in the United States has placed more sanctions on Russia as this weekend marks the second anniversary of the full-scale invasion of the Ukraine. Joining me live now is Dr Daniel Vincent, Professor of Politi Politics and International Affairs at Furman University in South Carolina. We will get to Ukraine shortly. But welcome to the program, Doctor. South Carolina, of course, the Republican primary. What, what do we expect? I expect that Trump is probably going to get a pretty big victory this weekend. Um, Nikki Haley has been campaigning actively, but I think that the voters have made up their minds already that, that Trump's going to be their nominee. Um, and at least in South Carolina, he seems to be holding a large lead. From the outside looking in, for many people who don't follow this closely, when they see that Nikki Haley is from South Carolina, she hails from South Carolina, this seems a little bit of an anomaly. It is. And I think in a normal election year that didn't involve Trump, she would probably be winning fairly easily. Uh, this election is not so much about Nikki Haley. It's very much about Donald Trump. And I think voters haven't even really been paying close attention to issues. They really have decided that this is a chance to defend Donald Trump from his legal entanglements and, and all of the negative things Democrats have been saying. And I think that it, it would not really have mattered who ran against him. In South Carolina, it's Trump country right now. It's quite remarkable that he is going from courtroom to courtroom to rally to courtroom. It is unusual. We have never had anything quite like this in American politics. And I don't think anybody but Donald Trump could probably pull this off. Um, I think any normal politician from a political background rather than a background in reality television uh, would have been sent to the sidelines a long time ago. Will he continue to pull it off? That's the question. He's been fined more than $540 million uh, recently in the past week. And, and these things are continuing to build. Look, there has been the sugar hits along the way, but at some point, will it start to sting? I, I think certainly the legal consequences uh, may be catching up with him in the, in the current fines. Uh, it doesn't look like he will be able to avoid those things for much longer. Um, but I think as far as voters are concerned, they're going to continue to support him in the Republican Party. I've seen no evidence yet that any of these indictments or legal troubles are costing him voters. In fact, as those indictments started rolling in over the last year, he's actually improved his support among Republicans. Uh, and so unless he were actually convicted in one of the federal trials rather than the state trials, uh, I think he's probably going to continue plowing straight on through to the nomination. Joe Biden says he's going nowhere. He's very much on the front foot. How will a uh, Biden-Trump rematch go? It is not something that most of us in the United States are looking forward to, and yet it does seem to be where we're headed. Um, I think Biden's going to focus on a couple of things. I think, one, he will continue to make Trump himself uh, part of the, the campaign message, uh, and particularly the, the concerns about Trump's threats to democracy uh, in the wake of, of his rejection of the last election outcome. Uh, I think that Biden's also going to lean in on some issues that uh, Democrats do well on right now. Um, I think he's also going to focus a lot on some of the foreign policy questions. There's such a stark difference right now between what a Biden presidency and a Trump presidency mm -hmm. would look like for, for our neighbors around the world uh, and our allies around the world. And I think Biden's going to, to try to use that to sway some independents and even some he's Republicans. Mm. He's age and frailty, often a criticism, but... You'd be, uh, you'd be a brave person to underestimate him. He's a very cunning and clear political operative, isn't he, Joe Biden? He is. Um, Biden manages to keep coming back. Uh, every time someone counts him out, he manages to find a way to get the victory. Uh, and I would not count him out. I think the media have been focused on his age, uh, but it's partly because there are no real scandals to focus on with mm. Joe Biden. So they're, they're using that as sort of the negative attack on him. Yeah, and, uh, of course, he's just announced more sanctions on Russia um, after the untimely death of uh, Alexei Navalny. Yes, uh, he has announced those sanctions. It looks like they're, they're going to try to focus on uh, supply the supply lines to Russia's military uh, uh, and industrial uh, operations. 
Um, unfortunately, sanctions often take a while to kick in, uh, and sometimes countries are able to find ways to adapt around them. So we'll see uh, how significant that actually turns out to be. And of course, uh, we're, time's going to beat us, uh, Dr. Daniel Vinson, but uh, Taylor Swift is playing in Australia at the moment, and we can all see why Joe Biden is desperate for her to endorse his campaign.